Traders, in this video we're going to talk about how to identify high probability setups following price action and using price action rules. Price action is language of markets and if you learn to read the price action, you'll be able to identify where the market is heading. Now as price action traders who want to identify where the market is heading, we have a set of tools that we can use to help us ease our job. So we're going to identify the key levels. We're going to use trend channel lines to follow the bias of the market so we can know when the trend is changing. And we have 21 bar exponential moving average on the chart, supportive indicator, confirming the trend and also acts as a key entry point. Now the first goal that I need to fulfill is to identify the structure right from the get-go. And I can see this is a trading range structure because EMA is flat and we have a lot of up and down, up and down. There is no clear strong downtrend or uptrend. This is indecision. So I need to identify the extremes. The support is here and the resistance is here. Now, when I'm in a trend range structure like this, I'm going to be drawing my trend lines fairly tight. I'm not interested in drawing the channels wider because I want to see where there is a pivot. I want to see where the momentum may change because I don't want to be stuck looking for late entries when the market is reversing. So we have a downtrend working lower with the break, two legs to a new low, indicating the downtrend played out. We have uptrend working higher with the break and new high, indicating that uptrend played out. Because after there is a break new extreme, you expect correction or reversal. So after we have a first leg up, pull back, second leg up, and market likes to move in pairs of twos, we have what looks like a two leg pullback, new extreme, and market is reversing down. Now in this video, we're gonna go through price session in hindsight, but first you need to learn to understand how price action moves in hindsight. And then once you learn that, you will slowly but surely start to see it happen live, unfolding in front of you. Okay, so as the prices are working lower, I'm not interested in looking for long entries. Even though we have a second entry long, which is could be a high probability setup if the structure was uptrend, but uptrend played out. So I expect to get second entry, second leg down, excuse me, for this downtrend. Okay, so I'm not interested in taking second entry long. And notice we have a break new extreme indicating the downtrend played out and prices are strongly reversing up all right at this point on it's starting to look like the strong bullish trend may start and ema is going to be important because if this uptrend is going to be strong which looks like it is ema is going to hold and we're going to have continuation of the bullish uptrend but it didn't happen there is no rejection from the exponential moving image and prices are strongly reversing down so at this point on i need to adapt so I need to redraw the downtrend now. And this pattern is the main pattern. Do we look for a new high of this uptrend? We don't. Because once you retraced over 50%, we retrace almost the entire downtrend. You forget almost the entire uptrend. You forget about looking for a new high of this uptrend. And you're sticking with the downtrend this is the main pattern. So since this is the main pattern, and most breakouts of trend ranges will fail, we're pushing back below this resistance all the way down to the string range. And I'm following simple short and bias. I'm just following the shortened price session and I can see that at this point on bias is bearish. Okay, so we're breaking the channel, which means that after break of a channel, I instantly expect for market to create new low. And this is the lowest low where I reset the count where I'm counting for entries because I identified that the channel is down and I want to take a high probability setup. And a high probability setup is going to be second entry short at the key entry point. And we have first entry short, prices are working higher and we have second entry short right here. But notice, I have the shorten uptrend in play, which tells me that buyers are still in control. I need to draw these uptrends even for the corrections. And when it is okay to sell, after uptrend either gets new high or there is attempt for a new high. I notice the second entry short also triggered below bullish bar, which is a horrible bar to sell below. Since I'm bear, I want to sell below strong bearish bar. So I have a second entry short, but I cannot sell below. And notice what we have. We have what looks like a possible felt second entry short. Okay, this could be a trap. The reason why we're not going to go long here is because the bias is down. Okay, so this is not a trap. Felt second entry short is not going to be a good entry because this downtrend is new extreme and this is the trend down. For the reason we are not interested in going long, we have one tick higher, reverse it down. So at this point on, everybody's going long. They got filled in their trades and we have a big bearish bar after that indicating a double trap. Now, why double trap? Because everybody who went short too early on a bad signal bar they got trapped everybody's going along too early against the trend which is down is going to get trapped as well so this is a first high priority setup for today short and uptrend played out small little new extreme indicating it's okay to sell and notice market is pushing lower now we have a lower high confirmation of this short entry 
and we still expect new low for the downtrend when following the trendline rule. However, we get a couple bar stack. We have a lot of stims, bullish stims at the bottom, indicating some bullish pressure here. It's also a little bit too sideways. I recommend waiting here. Then we have felt second entry long, no new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long failure. Okay, second entry long is not high priority setup because trend is down. Okay, we're looking for second entry longs to fail and second entry shorts to work. But at this point on, you got seven bars stacked, even though it probably maybe could have worked for a scalp. I'm not going to mark it because it's too stacked and too sideways. Now we eventually created new low and market is continuing pushing lower and market is breaking higher. Now when I was watching this live, I was expecting for prices to continue working higher because downtrend played that way to break a new low. Strong push above EMA confirming bullish momentum. And we are in a train range up and down, up and down. So I expect for prices to keep pushing higher. However, news were announced at this point on and a strong bearish downtrend started. Be careful trading around the news because there's a lot of volatility, a lot of spiky moves. You can get slippage and overall it is not worth it. It is better to wait until market calms down a little bit and you will take a safe entry. Now, since I want to follow price action, I need to redraw the channels. Notice another shortened channel. I'm not even looking for wider patterns like this because at this point on structures train range, why do I need to look for wider patterns? I'm just sticking to the shortened channels. You guys can see if you just follow these channels, how you can stay on the right side of the market. You just follow the bias with these channels. The market is pushing lower. I have a little support here. How do I identify the support? And by the way, I didn't identify it at this time. I identified it a little bit later, but I want to mention why I drew it right here because you can use the measured moves not only for the two legs, but also for train range. Sometimes there's a two tier train range. So there was the bottom tier that I was looking for later on. At this point on, I was expecting downtrend to start. All right, for the reason I have this downtrend working lower, I have a break of the downtrend and another new extreme. And there was no two legged pullback, second entry short at this exponential moving average that would give me a high priority setup. All these setups are far away from EMA and I cannot take short at this point on break, new low form. So that means that the downtrend played out and we can have correction or possible reversal. I wasn't expecting a full blown reversal. I thought that this is going to be a strong downtrend at this point on, but I was wrong. Market strongly reversed. Fortunately, there was no trap short to take. I'm just following the price action. I get a break in new low. Okay. I adapt to the market and market is pushing higher following this trend line. Now we have what looks like an overshoot. An overshoot leads to a break of a channel, possibly or straight up reversal. Now, Notice prices are breaking lower. I have first leg down, pullback, second leg down. And notice we broke below EMA again and we have second entry long. But it is below EMA. If I want to go long and I don't have a strong key entry point here, strong bigger trend line, I need to wait for prices to push above EMA. At this point on, we had overshoot and now we had equal break on the other side. So we can expect for prices to create new high because this uptrend needs to get new high. We are still in a train range. I'm still sticking to shortened patterns. Notice we pushed above EMA, confirmed bullish momentum, and we have high low confirmation setup of this second entry long. So this is a high priority setup because confirming second entry long, it's back above EMA. It worked for a scalp, three and a half points easily. So scalp was made before market eventually working lower. Now I was quite surprised that we went into this train range, into this consolidation. You can see that at this point, this is indecision. It's pretty much hard to identify what is the bias. You know, it's flat EMA, sideways movement. So I'm just being patient. I was leaning more towards felt second entry short, but market eventually started breaking lower strongly. At this point on, this is where I identified the support to look for potential bounce because it was still looking like a train range. There was no clear trend. So I'm looking for any, you know, clues to identify where the target may be, where the prices may bounce. Prices completely ignored it and continue pushing lower. And once you didn't even pull back to test it and you continue breaking lower, at this point on, it is starting to be obvious that this may be a very strong downtrend. Okay, because notice how far away you're pushing and you're not even pulling back to EMA. Even though I see such a big move down, there is no safe way for me to jump in because there is no high priority setup and high priority setups are rare. You know, high priority setup is a two legged pullback at the EMA at the key entry point. And if I don't get it, I cannot just pick random entry because next time you will pick it, you will get stopped out all the noise and market will continue pushing lower. So we're waiting for high priority setups. They're the most reliable. And right now prices are finally correcting. 
So at this point on, I expect to get second entry shorts. This is the lowest low of this entire move down. First break of the downtrend. Following the simple price action again, first entry short, pull back. We finally broke above either one of these bars highs above this bar right here. So we can get the second entry short. We have second entry short here, but notice the single bar. Bullish bar, not really convincing bearish. Cannot really sell below this bar right here, even though it's starting to be close to EMA. Bad signal bar, unfortunate, because this would be a nice two like a pullback. Also, we can see this like a first leg here, correction, longer correction, second leg here, uptrend playing out, EMA holding, but the signal bar here was really bad. EMA keeps rejecting. So at this point on, the trading range played out and the downtrend is starting. So I'm adapting to trend rules, okay? I'm looking for a second entry short at the EMA and I'm looking for channels. Even though we have break a new low, it looks like there may be a stronger channel, spike and a channel. This is what I identified, this one right here, because EMA keeps rejecting consistently, okay? So we have uptrend working higher. We have a break, new extreme. So this is indicating to me that uptrend played out. So my goal is not only to identify the main channels, but also to identify the short term corrections. Okay, so we have a break and you high. We have second entry short here. And this was my first trade for the day. And you may ask why? Because it is above EMA. Why did I take it? I treated this as the EMA get bar because notice this option started here and the entire time prices failed to break above the EMA. And the first bar is going to break above EMA in a strong trend. May a lot of times push through may pull back and I like it because there's a break and a new high and it's a second entry short. A lot of times EMA get bars are still inside of a correction, but this time we already have a break and new high and it's the first bar we broke above EMA, small little bar, second entry short worth the risk. I thought this is a great entry work for a scalp. And notice what we have. We have second entry short and we have a lower high confirming the second entry short. So this was my second trade that I took, okay? The stop loss goes one tick below above the signal bar. Excuse me, I'm selling. I was forced to ride this out. You can see I was still in this trade and eventually I managed to get out here. Can you take failed second entry long? You have a new high, first entry long, second entry long failure. No, you cannot. Even though it worked, you would have to probably ride this out again to hit the scalp because we're only interested in scalpers profit. Notice at this point, you have to question the structure here. EMA is completely flat. And we are starting to work sideways. Every single time here, prices are swiftly trending down and suddenly so many bars stacked. At this point on, you can pretty much even possibly think about exiting early if you're stuck in one of these trades because this is not what's supposed to happen. This lower high is supposed to push market lower. And the fact that this is not happening and we're trending sideways is telling you something's wrong here. So eventually market kept working higher. However, I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to remind myself what is the structure. Is there any sign of bullish momentum? There is not. We are still in a very strong downtrend and I'm still thinking bearish. I follow the main bias. I follow the short term corrections and it is okay for me to sell after we push below EMA and trapped buyers. So at this point on, we can see we have a couple pushes higher, which I'm not really interested in taking. We have push below EMA, we have first entry long, pull back and you expect to get second entry long failure, you get a second entry long failure, but notice neutral bar above EMA, flat EMA going sideways, it made up the scalp, but you know, this is quite stacked, nothing is really too convincingly bearish, market is trending low, we have another new high, first entry long, second entry long failure again. You're just looking for reasons to sell at this point on. This is why we're resetting the counts, looking for second entry shorts or felt second entry long. They're high priority setups. But notice doji, followed by another doji. Then third bar finally triggered. I don't think it triggered early enough for high priority setup. Then you have new low right here. You have first entry short pullback, second entry short. Now this is not a bad setup because EMA keeps holding strongly at this point on. It is decently bullish excuse me, decently bearish reversal bar. Only worry is here, you're quite close to these lows. I will mark it as aggressive entry because advanced trader can short here. It is nice bearish stim, but the distance here is a little bit concerning, but the bias is still bearish. Okay, we're looking to sell. We're following the 
trend line rule, and we have new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long, failure again. And remember, when the bias is bearish, second entry long, if it forms a key entry point, we treat it as it's going to fail when the next bearish bar in opposite direction appears. Okay, so, excuse me, when the first bar in opposite direction appears. So direction is bullish because we count for second entry long and the first bar appear, which is the bearish bar, you take to one thing higher, reverse down, big bearish bar, and also notice a breakout pullback of this little support. So breakout pullback, flat second entry long, this was my third and last trade for the day. Today we had, fortunately, a good, quite easy setups to spot a market continue breaking lower. My runner was stopped instantly because we pulled back and market eventually kept pushing lower. Now, Marco from Topic Trading, I recommend checking the channel, identified early this gorgeous spike and a channel pattern. You can see how nicely it is fitting off of these highs. So I'm just gonna copy it, put it at the bottom. And you have to remember when the structure is this strongly bearish, you are always looking for channels, but there may be point in price action where the structure is going to be so strong bearish downtrend, where there are going to be multiple wider patterns and we're gonna get through that, where at this point you're mainly paying attention to EMA, okay? This is why EMA is so important, because at this point it's really weak, the prices, you know, strong downtrend, so you're just hoping you're gonna pull back to EMA and you just follow the price action, you follow the EMA. So we are pushing lower, I'm going to redraw the downtrend just to keep me on the right side of the market and notice what we have. You wouldn't have this at the time. You have first new low, first entry short, pullback, second entry short. And we have a two-legged like pullback. When I was watching this, I didn't like going short here based on the signal bar because the signal bar is very tiny, neutral doji. Steam at the top, steam at the bottom, one tick, or possibly two ticks of a bearish body. But this is neutral signal bar after such a big bullish bar, doji-ish. So I recommend waiting here. When this bar formed, it would have been great going short here because this bar is still quite close to this bar and it would have been great confirmation. It never formed and market continued pushing higher. However, if you took the short right here, because at this point the structure is quite strong downtrend and you took a risk here because trading is about taking a pro oops, taking a probability. So I will mark it aggressive entry. If you took a risk here, it's such a small stop. You probably uh, was thinking about going short here, but the bad signal bar, neutral doji, is helping you to stay away from this losing trade. After we get a confirmation with this bullish bar, this is why we drew this uptrend and market is continuing working sideways. Now notice, strong push below EMA. Do we expect new high for this uptrend? Not really. Because the downtrend is so strong, I'm just going to zoom out, remember the downtrend, okay, notice how strong it is, that I only want to see a lower high, because this is going to be an attempt for prices to create new high, notice take higher, reverse it down, but notice the signal bar, bullish steam at the bottom, neutral again, it worked, but I don't think you really want to short here, the signal bar is really, really bad. Almost borderline being good entry had the close more bearish because lower high is below EMA. You know, the structure is bearish, the main dungeon is in play, and you're just looking for any high probability setup at the key entry point to sell. But this single bar was here a little bit bad, and I skipped this, so I'm gonna skip this as well. I'm following the rules, so it's following the price action. Now, notice we're failing to reach the bottom of the channel, which may potentially indicate that the main channel is going to be broken, the main trend line. Action working higher with the breaking new high. We are above EMA. We're breaking the channel. We have a first break of this channel. So if we follow the trend line rule, we expect new low to be formed for this downtrend. We have a lower high, but we're still above EMA. I cannot sell directly into lower high like that, especially since we came short of this bottom trend channel line. I want to see felt second entry long because that would trap everybody going long on a second entry long below EMA. Okay, we have new high, first entry long, second entry long failure. We're above EMA and notice we don't have a trigger. There is no trigger, so you stop looking for shorts. You're still above EMA, big bullish bar. It ticked lower later, but it's too late. You're supposed to trigger right here and still above EMA sideways, so you're not taking an entry. We have new low formed, first entry short, pull back, second entry short. Now this is quite advanced entry, I will mark it, second entry short at the key entry point, because we have strong support forming, you still have a break of a channel and you still expect for prices to create 
new extreme. Okay, decent bearish bar, decent short entry, resistance, second entry short, quick easy scalp. You still expect new low. All right, so this is why you are still thinking short. Notice you broke this congestion. This is smaller congestion. A smaller train range, most breakouts will fail. You're not interested in buying because bias is bearish. Instead, there are two ways how we can trade these congestions. We can either fade a breakout if it breaks to the upside, or we can take additional weight to enter congestion. This would be lower high breakout pullback. And we broke lower, pull back, tested the congestion, lower high, big bearish bar breakout pullback pattern. Great short setup. You still expect new low. You don't expect bullish move up like this. This was quite surprising. You'd expect prices to push lower. That didn't happen. That doesn't mean that you're going to start selling because the main downtrend still needs to get new extreme following the price action rule. And once there is a strong downtrend like this, just paying attention to letting these corrections play out and resuming the bearish bias. So pretty much nothing interesting here. We're pushing below EMA, finally confirming we may get new low. We have lower high. You're expecting to get a failed second entry long to truly confirm it. And no failed second entry long was for market. Just completely continue pushing lower. And unfortunately, no failed second entry long. Now, both downtrends have new low. The main one and the short one. Break new low. For that reason, I'm drawing my trend line wider. New low formed, first entry short, pull back, second entry short. Even though you would have survived and eventually worked, you just have new lows for all downtrends. This shortened channel is still in play. You know, you barely survived by one tick. It could have easily stopped you by the one tick. And after you have so many new lows, you can expect some stronger correction. The market eventually ended up pushing a little bit lower and you have another second entry short, but I really don't think you want to go short. You expect correction phase at this point on. Okay. And finally, the correction phase is here. So I'm going to zoom out. We have break, couple legs to a new low. And after you get a break and you love the channel, there are two ways to approach it. You can get either correction phase or possible reversal. But when the trend is so strong to the downside, you don't expect reversal. I'm not even thinking about buying. I'm thinking that the downtrend will resume. And if you get uptrend, there are going to be plenty chances for you to jump on board and take longs. It's always better to miss few early longs than to get trapped because the downtrend may resume. So you can see since I expect correction, I'm going to draw the support. I'm going to draw the resistance. The reason why I like drawing the spike on a channel because we have so many confirmations here and here may be a little bit redundant because the bias is bearish, but it fits so nicely. EMA keeps holding and I expect a little bit of a correction. This was a quite big downtrend. Notice you have pushed below EMA. Confirming the bearish momentum again, coming off the highs, but I feel it's a little bit too early. It's quite big as well. And then you get a felt second inch long, new high, first inch long, second inch long failure, but it's too big. You cannot go short below this bar right here. It's way too big. Market corrected, gave us second entry short. That is kind of in the middle of no man's land. You're looking for short entries. You're looking for reasons to sell. But once you're in a correction phase, you know, you want to be careful because the bulls will just have to try to pick bottom. Sellers need to take their profits and you really want to make sure that the correction played out. For that reason, I would like to see lower high here, which never came. I'm drawing the downtrend wider, not tighter, because the correction is over. We're not reversing and we're resuming the main bias. All right. And notice another second entry short, far away from EMA, didn't even pull back. So... A lot of second entries and you can see how the high product setup looks but you really want to see it pull back to ema market is correcting you're pushing lower you're pushing lower now you wouldn't have this at the time you're just following the short channels and you get to a point this is what i was mentioning where once the trend is so strong you can be looking for multiple bigger patterns and they all may be valid you don't really need to worry too much which downtrend is the correct one just pay attention to EMA. That's the most important tool here as a trader. Just pay attention to EMA, follow the EMA because it will tell the tale. If the bullish correction will play out and EMA will hold during such a strong structure, you will get a good tool like a pullback. Now prices are pulling back lower. Notice new low, first entry short, pullback, second entry short. This is a second entry short. 
great high priority setup because structure is bearish up trend played out with the break new high your stop loss goes one tick above this single bar and notice you would have to sweat it out but you would have survived because here we have matching highs and this is why we don't monkey with the stop you don't try to you know make the risk the reward ratio better by pulling your stop loss in the middle of these bars because there are going to be pullbacks there's a noise and you want to use price action structure to protect your stop and you do it that way that you pull it one tick above the single bar when selling or one tick below when buying so you just have to write it out but you would have survived and would have been a high probability setup at this point on you can look for possible better downtrends and at this point it's starting to get quite late and you can see the key entry points holding you get it only first entry short and at this point on you're getting very close to closing and you can see wow what a massive sell off to the downside you can even see there's probably a downtrend like this forming so you can see there are multiple ways to identify channels you only paying attention to ema you, you can see new low first entry short second entry short heel a lower high and a felt second entry long again let me zoom in a little bit closer new low first entry short second entry short second entry short right here lower high and then you have felt second entry long. this is probably the best entry the felt second entry long because it ticked higher Everybody going long got trapped in a big massive bearish bar below EMA again. Prices are pulling back lower. New low, first entry short, second entry short, but far away from EMA. Above EMA, so no entry. And the same story. Two legged pullback on a larger frame and a lower high here. And market just keeps pushing lower. So this is pretty much easy trend. If every day was like this, it would have been uh, easy trading. But you guys can see what a massive day we ended up selling off so strongly just pay attention to the ema that's all you need the trend lines pretty much at this point on are bonus and this is healthy 45 degree angle downtrend so you're just letting these corrections play out and resuming the downtrend all right so i hope the video was helpful educational i'm gonna see you guys in the next one take care buddy